Hello, good day grade 11 students. So for this video lecture, we will be discussing about linear and angular measure. So first, let us define what is a central angle. When we say central angle, so it is a central angle of a circle. It is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. And an arc is a part of a circle. So uh, I have... An illustration here. So we have here a circle with a center O. Yeah, so that is the center of the circle. We can label it as O. And then we have here two points, A and B. And it forms an arc. And that is called the intercepted arc. So we have here arc AB. Again, it is called as the intercepted arc of the circle. Now, we have the center and the intercepted arc. So now, we have a central angle, A, O, B. And S, that is arc of, or I mean the length of the arc. So that is from point A to point B. So we can label it as S. So remember that the measure of the central angle is always equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. So, for example, if our angle AOB is equal to 45 degrees, then the measure of our intercepted arc, uh, intercepted arc AB, is also equal to 45 degrees. Now, let us move on with units of angle measure. So we have two different units. We have degrees and we have radian. So for degrees, as we all know, it is uh, it has this symbol. And then for radian, we, we will use the symbol rad. So let us define these two. First, let us define what is degrees. So it is used to measure direction and angle size. So remember that the circle has an angle measure of 360 degrees. Radian, on the other hand, is the angle made at the center of a circle by an arc whose length is equal to the radius of the circle. So we have here uh, the central angle or central, uh, central center of the circle O. So we have here our S as the arc length, and this is our radian. Yeah, and so it is the angle made at the center of the circle. Now, angle units, equivalence, and conversion. So we will discuss about uh, conversion of units no? from region to degrees or re degrees to region. So... For the measure of half circle, since 360 nga yung buong circle, so half circle is equal to 180 degrees, it is also equal to pi radian or 3.1416 radian. So pi is equal to 3.1416. So we will just use four decimals for our radian. For the full measure of a circle, so we have 360 degrees and that is equal to 2 pi radian. So it is not necessary to put the, the actual measurement of 2 pi. So we can just uh, leave it as is. Okay. So for us to convert degrees to radian, we have to multiply the given into pi radian over 180. Again, it is converting degrees to radian. To convert radian to degrees, so we just have to multiply the given to 180 over pi radian. So this is for radian to degrees. So let us have some example. So for example number 1, convert 60 degrees to pi rad. So anong gagawin natin? We have to multiply this by pi rad over 180 degrees. So by multiplying... So, we will get pi rad over 3. And that is already our final answer. Next, convert 60 degrees to rad. So, we have here pi rad over 180 degrees. And that is equal to pi rad over 3. Or, 
1.0472 rad. Okay? So, sabi nga po, diba, since this is this is pi and that is 3.1416, tapos divide mo lang siya by 3, you will get 1.0472. So, as you can see here, pi rad po yung kinuha. That is why ito lang yung final answer. On number 2, we are asked to get rad. Kaya po natin siya ni lowest term or sinimplify by dividing 3.1416 by 3. Next, convert 6 pi rad to degrees. So, we have to multiply the given 6 pi rad to 180 over pi rad. Ayan. Now, we can uh, cancel out, no? And that will give us 6 times 180 and that is equal to 1080 degree. So, at, as easy as that. Ganun lang mang po, no? Tandaan nyo lang yung formula. Kapag po, uh, region to degrees, ang gagawin po natin ay 180 over pi rad. Kapag naman po, pi rad to degrees, ulit. Ayan, balik ko. Nalito ako. <laughs> okay. So, kapag radian to degrees 180 over pi rad kapag naman degrees to radian pi rad over 180 degrees i hope uh, you understood already Ayan. Now, let us move on with central angle and intercepted arc. So, the measure of the central angle is always equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So, for example, we have here the intercepted arc AB with the region of 50 degrees. So, region to, no? Yung ating 50 degrees. So, we are asked to find our intercepted arc. So, that is 50 degrees. Ayun lamang po. Paano naman po kapag ganito? So, the missing one is the central angle. So, our central angle is also equal to 100 degrees. So, tandaan nyo lang po yung ating note that the measure of the central angle is always equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Now, let us talk about linear and angular measures of central angle. So, we have here an illustration. So, we have here theta. So, we can call this one as theta, angle theta. That is the central angle in radians. R is our radius. So, uh, it is in unit length. And S is our arc length. So, again, it is in unit length. So, for our formulas para sa arc length, we can use S is equal to R or our radian multiplied to our angle theta. So, for example, our given region is 4 cm and our uh, pi theta or, or our theta is equal to 30 degrees. So, our answer is 30, 30 degrees times pi rad over 180 degrees. Now, we will get pi rad over 3. I over 6, sorry. So, that is 0.5236 rad. And then we have here S is equal to R theta. So we have here 4CM multiplied to 0.5236. Our final answer is 2.0944. Again, I'll re I will repeat. So this is the formula for our arc length. Since uh, we are asked here to get our arc length in unit measurement or unit length. So we have to convert 30 degrees into rad, into radius, no? And then we will use it. Lagay lang natin siya dun sa ating formula, which is R theta radius, which is 4 cm. Multiply to our theta rad, that is 0 0.5236. So, our final answer is 2.0944 centimeters. So, as easy as that. So, for uh, further uh, explanation, kindly read uh, linear and angular measure of central angle on your modules. 
So that would be all for this topic. I hope that you learned something. God bless everyone.